What's up guys, it's James here from J Ray Games and I'm back with another video tutorial for your PlayStation VR to PC and today I am super excited to bring you VR Chat. I cannot tell you how many requests I have had for this game. Probably over 30 just in the last couple days. So clearly people want to know, does this game work? And how well does it work with the PSVR? I'm going to show you that today. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this one. So today we are playing VR Chat and it is a hilarious game um, if you haven't played it already. Um, super simple, free to play. And um, maybe for some people, this is the reason they're going to want to get into VR. Um, just because there's so many videos on it. Um, it's a great game. So today I'm going to show you the way uh, to play VR chat. Uh, so let's get going. Now, some of the things I'm going to show here, I've shown in past videos. I'm just going to kind of fly through it, uh, fly through those options. And uh, we will get into more of the specifics for this game so that you get a really optimal experience playing the game. So first of all, obviously we got our VR and uh, I turned it on already. And I'm gonna go into Trinus, running in admin mode. And once that has started up, I'm gonna click start. Now, oh, got a bit of a flicker because it detected the second screen. Here we go, calibrating, and we are on. And um, you might, it depends how you want to play this game. If you want to play it room scale, uh, you can use something like NOLO or PS Move. Um, but for, for right now, for this tutorial, I'm just going to have a seated experience. I'm just going to be sitting down, and um, I'm going to be using my um, gamepad, my Xbox 360 controller. And that works perfectly fine. So, so you don't need a lot. Uh, if you got a headset and you got some kind of controller, you can even use the keyboard, although that's pretty tough when you got the headset on. It's going to work. One other thing I did here, um, and I always do this when I'm using um, this kind of a setup, is I assigned a key for the uh, reset for the view. And the key that I use is one that I can easily find without having to look at the keyboard. So I set it to the tilde key. Okay, so that's the, the key just under the escape key. Uh, and that works good for me. I just put my hand down. I can feel it right away. I can reset the view in case I got any sort of drift or whatever. Now, here's a little surprise. And I, I'll admit, I was surprised. Obviously, VR chat, you're going to be talking a lot in the game to other people. That's the whole point of the game. It's a social experience. Now, I was very pleasantly surprised that I can use the microphone in the PSVR when I am playing this game and I'm going to show you how. When you plug in your PSVR and you go down to your playback devices like for your speaker down here on the taskbar and I right click and I go to recording devices you will see that as I'm speaking here I've got my camera um, I've got my Yeti which is picking up my voice but I've also got PSVR audio, which is also picking up my voice. I can't switch it for the video because uh, otherwise I lose my microphone and, and you won't hear me as well. But if I was you and I had a PSVR and I wanted to play this game, I would go into here, right click it, set it as my default device, and then VR Chat is going to use the microphone in the PSVR while you play. It's right near your mouth. People, I tested it out, everybody can hear me fine. So it's obviously working and it's, it, it's an awesome option. All right, you don't have to buy a microphone. It's built into your PSVR. And this is how it works on the PS4. I just had no idea until messing around with this that it also works with your computer as well. So we're gonna hit OK. I'm gonna launch Steam. And we'll wait for that to load. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to run through the tutorial. And maybe I'll go to the uh, Uganda map because I'm sure everybody wants to see that that's working. Um, and then, um, yeah, just to basically show you that it does work. 
uh, that's what we'll cover in this video. Now, if, if you don't want to stop right there, you've seen enough, you know it's going to work, that's fine. But uh, I do encourage you guys to watch the video. Then we're going to go into Steam VR. Again, everything's in admin mode, and there's our screen of the room. I'm going to use Alt Tab. I'm going to select my headset window, shift windows right. It is now in the headset. And I'm going to go into Steam. And let me just reduce the size a little bit because I got my uh, webcam in the corner here. It's kind of tough to see. Go to VR. Go to VR Chat and play the game. Now, it's going to come up with its own little window. Let me just grab, whoops, oh no, what did I do? There, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just gonna turn down the sound a little bit. As you can see, VR chat is loading, there it is. I'm gonna put on my headset now and the rest is gonna be from the headset. So let's do that. Here we go. So we are in VR chat. It is loading up and I am inside of a hub right now. I'm just going to mute my mic because I don't want other people to have to hear me. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my menu. Um, you got a lot of options here, which I'll get into a little bit after. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to worlds and I'm going to just search a world. And I know this is kind of lame, but I'm going to search the tutorial world just so you can see uh, how it works as far as, oh, I can't even spell today. Tutorial. So you can see how it works with the gamepad. Now, like I said, I could play with my uh, NOLO controllers. I could play with my PS Move controllers. Let's go to Tutorial Desktop. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going into the tutorial world. First thing it says, use your mouse to click OK. Well, I don't have a mouse, I'm using a, a gamepad. So I just look at OK and I press the A button. Then it says we're gonna calibrate your height. Now this is where you could have a standing or room scale or a seated experience. I'm gonna look up at the cube. There we go. Then it's gonna calibrate my height by me looking in the middle of these two arrows. Here we go, and success. And now what I can do here is I can create my first avatar. And um, I can look to the left. These are the guy avatars, the, the, the males. And to the right are the female avatars, and they only start you off with a few. You can obviously get more as you go. But I'm gonna go with something like that. And then I can see myself in the mirror, and you can see how he's responding to my movements. I'm going to hit OK, confirm selection. Here we go. And OK once again. Now, I'm in the first room. This is kind of shows you the basics of movement. Personally, I don't like the default movement. You'll see that when I move, I kind of go into this third person view, and he kind of runs away from me. And then when I let go, he teleports to that spot. I'm going to press the start key, I'm going to go into system, I'm going to change it to classic locomotion, which is basically first person all the time. Some people might not like that, some people may prefer, uh, maybe they get motion sickness, you got a lot of options here that you can set it um, to your comfort level, okay, but I prefer classic locomotion, I hate teleporting. So here we go. Now you can see I am in a first person view all the time as I move through the world. Okay. And I'm going to go to this. I'm going to say, okay, here we go to the next area. Now this is where you actually learn how to play the game and how to use and interact with objects within the world. I'm going to go to, first of all, picking up objects, the most basic thing. When I look at an object and I hold the right trigger, I pick it up. And when I let go, I drop it. If I want to throw an object, I look at it, I hold the X button, I haven't let go of my right trigger yet, I aim and then I let go of X, oh that was a horrible shot, and I can throw that object 
at, oh man, I'm really bad today. Uh, I can throw it at other objects. Okay, there we go. So you can see that's how that works. Down over here, if I want to shoot some things, I can hit OK. I'm going to get some targets that show up. And I can use the gun using the right trigger. And you can see that that tracks beautifully. It looks like the targets are stuck in the ground. That's, that's fun. I don't know why. There must be a little glitch. And when I'm done with it, I can just press X to drop the item. All right, I'm going to go over to the drawing board, show you that as well. These are all little things that you're going to be using in the game from time to time. So I look at a marker, come up to the board, and I hold the right trigger, and now I can draw whatever I want. Okay, so you can see it tracks beautifully. JR. Okay? So this is fun, this is good, and it works perfectly, as you can tell, with this setting. Now, like I said, I muted my mic because I don't want people in the in the hub to hear me uh, talking about what to do, or yeah, my video, basically. Um, so now you got a choice, you can go to the help videos, they give you a little more information about how VR chat works and some of the features, or I can go to the hub and actually join with other people. Now, I will say this, I don't know about your connection when you go to play this, I find that it has to connect a few times until it finds a room that you um, you have a very fast connection with. So I'm going to go in here. It's going to take me to the hub. And like I said, sometimes it has to load a few times. But I will eventually, after usually a few attempts, get to a room that's running really quick. And uh, you'll see that in a second we are coming into the hub and the hub is really the center of all the activity that's where you can go and meet other people you can go and uh, start your experiences go to whatever you want to do now this is what I'm talking about sometimes it loads a few times there it goes and I don't know if that's standard for uh, other headsets as well I'm assuming it is uh, I can't see it being any different with the PSVR and the Vive and I mean it's the same program so as you can see sometimes it has to reload different hub connect again and uh, I think it's connecting based on the speed of your connection alright so here we are in another uh, hub and this one seems to be running fine it loads like I said from time to time and uh, there doesn't seem to be too many people in this hub all right, it's loading again, great. But like I said, once it finds a hub that you uh, have a very fast connection to, it just works. And it seems once it's kind of locked onto a, a room that you have a good connection with, it, it's just gonna work. All right, so let's see if this is the one. Now I apologize because this is kind of a bad demonstration for the game. Um, this this seems like it'd be a bit of an annoyance, but again, I don't think it's specific to the PSVR. I think this happens with any headset. And if you want to reply in the comments as to whether this is a normal sort of thing that uh, it has to reset. Okay, so here we go. We're in an area now. There's doesn't seem to be any loading. It looks like it's working. We can go to these different little worlds that are built in. Okay, and this one seems to be fine. Like I said, once it locks on to a room that you have a good connection with, it just works. All right. Oh, it's the way. Super Mario Kart. Oh, it's switched, too bad. All right, but uh, yeah, you can search for whatever world you want. I know people are probably wondering about the Uganda map. If you want me to go there, I can show you that. We'll go to uh, worlds. There's Uganda, it's one of the most popular ones. You can see there's all sorts of different worlds, and that's what really makes this game awesome, is that you got all these different experiences you can have with people. Here we go, let's go. So we are heading there. Now the cool thing is, if you're looking to get into VR, this is a great way, this is a social experience. I mean, you should tell all your friends, get all your friends on their VR headsets and playing together because that's really 
how it's meant to be played. All right? And so here we are in part of the Uganda world here. All right. Oh, and there they are. All right. Fantastic. Oh. Uh, okay, so you can see, guys, this works fantastic. All right. It's a great experience. It's a fun time. And, uh, you know, this game, as, as stupid as it is, it is awesome. Uh, you're going to have a really fun time. You have a really good experience with uh, the people you play with. You're going to make lots of good VR memories for sure with this game. And I think that's the reason it's it's gotten so popular. Uh, okay, so let me just uh, exit out of here. Actually, I don't have to. We'll just leave it as it is. That's fine. But you can see that it works really, really well. And um, the PSVR handles it really, really well. Um, and you don't need to have the room scale set up. You don't need to have anything fancy. It's just going to work for you right away. And so it is a, a really, really good experience. Aside from that reconnecting issue. And if somebody knows in the comments below uh, how to fix that and how to get past that or, or what's causing that, I would appreciate that. Um, but other than that, it works really, really well. So make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to have lots more videos coming along and hopefully you found that useful. All right, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. See you later.